welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if all the bees are gone, I can show you guys my cultural package that came with my Turkish course delivered by my Turkish teacher from the mail. I had just gotten it the other day, but I haven't had a chance to film or open it with all the Turkish that I've been doing. Five hours virtual, so 10 minutes between each course for our break and then 30 minutes in between for a break. So I have Turkish from 11 a.m. to 4.20 p.m. It's also my extended weekend and I have Monday off, so let's get into the video. This is where they sent it from in Pittsburgh, the University of Pittsburgh, the Cathedral of Learning. And my professor sent me a photo of what it looks like. I'll insert it here. This is what it looked like as a whole but I cannot show it in the video because I have to blur out the address. Sorry, I look mad. It's just really sunny here and hot outside. It was a little bit open right here, so I guess I'll start and open it through this. I had already seen them briefly because she asked us what each one was in Turkish before they had arrived in our packages. So here we have this Turkish kids book. And it's really cool because it's all in Turkish. It's really good to start off with kids books again because when you learn a language, you start off as a baby. In fact, even some baby books in other languages are difficult when you're a beginner. And next up, we have the uh, Haji Vat Karakuz Guzje Oyunu Seti. It is a portable shadow theater. It opens through the back. Here is the puppet stage. It came with a business card. It came with this manual and it tells you some of the history and basically instructions on how to do it. It has stories and dialogues for them in Turkish. And in English. Now to the interesting part. Here are some of the props and puppets you can use. This one looks like my mom, kind of. <laughs> as well as these sticks and these blocks to probably prop up the theater. Guys, what in the world? Look how windy it is. I'm just like struggling through the whole video because of how windy it is. So the sky over here is plain and blue and then over here it looks stormy. So inside the special 
Turkche box, which is Turkish. We have da -dum, da -dum, an envelope in Istanbul postcard. We have this container that sounds like flour, sand, sugar. The dogs wanted to join. Diddy. A paintbrush. Get out of my stuff, Summer. This bow with the ladybug on it with sticky on the other side. We got Turkish tea. I can't wait to try it. Yeti chai and Sia chai. There's seven tea and they are black tea. My apologies, there's actually eight. This is packaged really tightly so it might be really hard for me to open. It was literally just one tape wrapped all around it. Get all the powder, guys. Is this literally sand from Turkey? Okay, if this is sand, then my professor was trying to be funny, and now I need to put it in this bowl. My like, guys, look how much was in this. I was fooled, I thought it was silverware legit so soft though like how is that sand is it sand question with this wind and stuff it feels like the beach has been brought to me next up we have turkish chocolate package of Turkish Delight, my favorite. Lokum. And it's pomegranate. I don't think I've ever tried a pomegranate one before. We're getting to the stuff very unique to their culture now. I really like cool designs like that. ask me what these terms are in Turkish because I honestly forgot but if you know feel free to put it in the comments as always so this compartment medicine box came with paint inside covered with ceram wrap so it wouldn't leak out a lot of these two things be messy now there's a bird that won't shut up <laughs> it's fine but so we got the paintbrush and now the paint and there's still sand all over my phone we have this dish which is again another traditional cultural thing and here is a matching cup. Man, I'm just in for it today, I guess, with the wind, the bees. There's a bee that will not leave me alone. But anyways, here is the cup. For real, bee, you need to leave. This is my seat. Okay, finally I'm back, guys. So this is the cup. Goes right here. Here's another very Turkish cup. And there's definitely a term for this. Please put it in the comments if you know it. And I believe this is a little plate bowl for it. The trick question is, how do I open this? Because it's gonna get all over the place, whatever it is. This one is really, really messy. It's 
it's already like all over the place so I can't really show it that well definitely paint good thing I am getting a new phone case soon I believe I have never opened a package this interesting before Okay, update from my professor. This is vegan cooking powder sourced from seaweed. So you can make it in vegan cheese and stuff. So my professor had me fooled two times over. First, I thought it was silverware, then sand, then it's evidently a cooking ingredient. So time to try the chocolate and the Turkish delight. I'll start with the chocolate first because I've never had it before. I don't believe it. I got the golden ticket. Oh, it's really mushy too. Oh, it probably melted, guys. Yep, she a little melted. This is how much I opened it so far. I'm gonna have to eat it like this. Don't, don't, don't. It's got like seeds in it. And I kid you not, the birds can already smell the seeds. They were just on the deck and then flew away as soon as they realized me. It's good. A plus. Better than any other chocolate I've had with nuts in it before. Here's the nuts so you guys can see it. It's actually really good, melted. Okay, so that chocolate tasted like the nuts actually belonged to the chocolate. It was a very good match with the Turkish chocolate. Now to the pomegranate Turkish delight. Not a little low cool. So they're actually little small individually packaged. are all in Turkish and the first one is sugar. There she is. Now y'all, it's called Turkish Delight for a reason. It's not bad. I was expecting it to be a lot stronger than that, but it's not bad. I was expecting the chocolate to be matcha on the inside, but that's just because of my Asian background. And it even says nut right on there. But anyways, that also brings us to the more complicated idea of cultural background and how much it changes your perception of what you think something would be. Like say, I see this green and I think matcha, well, it's actually just a nut. I looked into it more and I think this is actually Turkish coffee. <laughs> Last but not least, the Turkish eyeball. The Hey, Jimmy. I should like put it on a special necklace. I'll have to try the Turkish tea another time, but thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and bye guys.